I've been asked, why would you ever put a photo panel on a roof and convert good sunlight into electricity with an 80% loss so you can turn it right back to heat again, right? And, and um, the, the answer, I mean, Deepak gave me the answer, right? Is that by putting all of the energy into the wires, it gives you the freedom to do a whole bunch of things. One, you can bring those wires into the house, so you're cooking in the house. Two, um, you can put those wires into a perfectly insulated chamber, which we did yesterday, and you can get by with really low power. You can also do things like um, provide other value that electricity provides, and you can store that energy if you want to buy a battery. So that's what we're that's what we're looking at, even if it's heresy and cheating. <laughs> and so let's take a look. It's been done. This is in Haiti. This is I got this just from a website. They put a bunch of panels on the roof. You have the balance of system. What just happened? Um, and um, yeah, you go go check it out on YouTube. But it must be expensive, right? So we're focusing on how do we reduce the costs and how might this change in five years? Because in five years, we could do a whole bunch of research and be ready for the cost that we expect in five years. So you look, by a factor of 200 in the last 40 years, photovoltaics have dropped in price. Now, this if we extrapolate this, we'll get to zero and the negative price in a moment. So you, know, you have to go on a log, log on a log, semi-log graph, pardon me, and we can see the cost from about 100 down to close to 10 cents. Will this continue to decrease? I say for sure, for sure. There's a dizzying array of different technologies always being improved. And keep an eye, what, keep an eye on perovskite, a bunch of um, very inexpensive, I think, organic tunable molecules that they're working on um, recently. And so, you know, electricity, too cheap to meter. We've heard this once before with, um, with atomic energy. Didn't work out quite like they thought. But now you say, what is this? How many of you recognize what those are? Those, those little solar lights, right, that you get? And why do I have buckets of them? Well, because someone went to the beach, had a party, and they were too cheap to bother taking home. Right, so, you know, maybe we're getting in this direction. Now, if we do an, you know, a, this is a physicist, right? This is about a straight line. Um, now, if you look up the prices of which you, this is the cost to make silicon photovoltaics. Now I looked up on the internet, and it costs about it, the price is about twice as much to buy it, right? On, uh, on uh, Alibaba.com or whatever. And so we can we can take this as our baseline. Right now we can buy um, uh, photovoltaics for about 75 cents a watt, and in 2020 it'll be about 30 cents a watt. And um, also the poor are not as poor as they used to be, as we see in this uh, Pew study. In the 10 years. The, uh, the percentage of the world's uh, people that are poor has actually been reduced to about half. And so the people have more accessible income and photovoltaics are dropping in price. So let's take a look at the system, the system in Haiti. Um, it's a, a, a 400 watts. So what is 400 watts? The, the burners in my house are in, on the order of 1,000 watts. So 400 watts is not really strong, but reasonably. Um, it, it can boil a liter of water in 15 minutes. Tracking maybe another two hundred dollars. A battery is a hundred dollars in your charge control. Everything's a hundred dollars in, in physics. Um, <laughs> maybe the burner's a little bit less. And so this is a hundred uh, eight hundred fifty dollars system. Too much, right? But you know, you don't really need to store the energy, right? Because that's where we are with solar anyway, right? And uh, look, tracking. Sorry, move the panels yourself. And then you say, well, you can make your own heater with nichrome wire. It's a buck. So now you've got a $300 system. You like it, but you know you don't really need three panels. 100 watts. Now, 100 watts, you say you can't do that. That's not enough power to heat up your food hot enough. It won't get hot. But with insulation, now with $6 of insulation, you can get really hot. And so our calculations was with eight centimeters of insulation, your uh, equilibrium temperature will be 400 Celsius. 750 Fahrenheit, that's hot enough, right? But now you've cut the power down by a factor of three, it's going to take 45 minutes to boil your liter of water. So it's a little bit slow. So we're not going to go any lower than 100 watts. And these are the systems we're going to be looking with. And so, oh, right. And so the system costs $110. Now projected cost in five years is $50. That's pretty cheap now, I think. Um, 
And so, you know, that's kind of where, where, we, where we stopped. We had this realization a couple weeks ago. We've been working in this direction. Um, and so, how is this going to manifest itself? Right, well, maybe you like to boil things in a pot. Right, so, so, so the goal is we want to interface with communities. We want to start to develop these technologies and work, um, and, and work along with the cultural norms of how people cook. So what if they like to cook in pots and boil stuff? You might have something like this with insulation here, and you've got a heater down below. Right? What if you like to barbecue, like we did yesterday? Then maybe you'd have it like this. Um, and so, indecision. So the title of this is Using Photovoltaics for Cooking. Right? But it, the crucial issue is right now to make it work is you need insulation. Right? And it's an insulation that brings the power need, the power demand down so that, that we can reduce the cost. And so I actually could have just called this using insulation creatively. Right? And it's not just, it's not just for photovoltaics. Like, so for instance, um, that, did you, you didn't give your talk yet. Devin will give a talk about uh, this new solar concentrator that we're working on where you, um, you concentrate the light uh, until about, not unlike a Scheffler, right? Um, and so if you look at the cross section here, if this is the insulation, maybe we could build it like this. If it's fed right on the pot, we run it through the insulation, then you make a little hole, you know, this is still gonna insulate really well. And so what does that do for you? Well, what, rather than 2,000 watts, you get by with 500 watts, and like the guy said, Yesterday, size matters, right? Smaller, this is not what he said, but smaller is way easier and way cheaper to make. And so, um, all right, the green architect will say, insulate before you insulate with the sun, right? And so, I'd like to provoke everyone to think creatively about how we might use insulation, any technology you're looking at, to reduce the power needs, or if you're not reducing the power needs, you're gonna improve performance with insulation. So there you go, everybody's doing it. There's my little guy we noticed. You can buy grills now with an inch of ceramic insulation around them. Payback time, well, these are $1,200, so it's going to be a while. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thanks so much for your attention.